Hi everybody. Hi Floss Tube. Spader and Lenine, always in stitches, Noblesville, Indiana. It is May 24th, 2024, and we don't have a clue what number this is. Um, it is a beautiful May day in Indiana. We're getting ready for um, race day. Race day is on Sunday here. 500, and that means everybody. And the what? Pacers are in the playoffs. Pacers in I the don't playoffs. Think they're doing Ooh. a very good job, but. We get to go to the game on Monday. They have mm. a, um, a game on Monday night. That's awesome. And Brett's going to go to the race with our son-in-law and grandson. So Cool. Have you ever been to the race? Yes, once. Yeah, I went. I mean, I've been a couple of times. And I used Was it to, any good? I don't care for the races. Um, I worked at a, at a suite back in the 80s where you, the race car drivers would come in. It was all during practice, and this was when they still had weekend um, qualifications, you know, the two weekends before. Nice. Yeah, and it was fun, because it was like A.J. Foyt and Alan Oh, and, wow. Yeah, Rick Mears. Um, That's when I went. Yeah, yeah, that it, that was cool, because they well, would come in. I didn't go to and, that race, but I went to the carb day Yeah, something. carb day. That was fun, because we worked down there all, the whole month of May. Wow. And the guys, we'd have to wear these GTE. I worked it for GTE, the phone company. Uh -huh. And we had to wear these polo shirts that said GTE on them. Well, we only got one. So we wore them all month. <laughs> but the guys signed my shirt with Sharpie markers. Oh, that's yeah. cool. So uh, like uh, Rick Mears' dad, his, they called him Pappy. He was there and Al and Bobby Answer and Michael Andretti, Mario. It was, it was kind of fun. It was fun. And wow. we fed him lunch. So they'd, come, they'd want to come in if you had a good lunch bar. Let me so. make sure this thing's in focus. Wait. Oh, pardon us. Hope I won't fall out of my chair. Well, that's why you fell out of your chair last time, wasn't it? Yep. It's because you were trying to focus. I got up and I tried to focus. So, I hope everybody's I having took a, it. I took Don't a, pay attention to I Peter. Took a, I took a spill. I've been doing... We all know, remember when Peter took a spill. <laughs> um, it's been a while since on, we've been... It was on the asphalt, to, too. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Oh, well, yeah. It was, he fell out of his chair a couple of episodes ago. We haven't been here in a while. It's been a we month. We haven't been here in a long time. I've been kind of AWOL. We uh, took a trip to Italy with our with a couple of uh, couples that we hang out with. So um, that was fun. We were gone two weeks. I starved. Now, did the people you go with starve? Well, they that I don't eat a lot of seafood, so I don't eat any seafood. Not a lot. I don't eat any. But um, <laughs> if there were a couple of times, even they were like, uh, "What exactly is it we're eating?" But anyway, so anyway, we're back. Um, ha I don't have a whole lot of whips because... Oh, I forgot mine. Okay, you run the show. I'll be right okay, back. Okay, I'm going to run the show. But at least great, you'll, you'll you guys. You'll be out of focus, though, because oh, that was focused I'm going to be out of focus? Yeah, unless okay, I go like here, this. I'll, I'll Hold on. Like this. Nope, there. I got it on you. So, Italy was great. We started in Naples and went from Naples and around and up and through Florence and Rome and Venice... And then ended in Naples. No, <laughs> ended in Milan. And we saw some of the really pretty churches, the big um, cathedrals, and got here comes Peter again. And, and what was the statue of the guy's skin? That was St. Bartholomew. Tell him about the St. Bartholomew. There, in one of the churches, and I'm sorry I don't remember, it kind of went in one ear and right out the other, St. Bartholomew, there was a, a statue of, of him done by one of the famous ones. I'm not sure if it was Michelangelo. Did you know you're supposed to say Michelangelo, not Michelangelo? Oh. Mick, Mick Michelangelo. He, what was he, uh, Irish? No. but Mick? No. <laughs> That'll be cut later. <laughs> Good Lord. Anyway, Michelangelo, that's how you say Michelangelo in Italy is Michelangelo. How do the Italians say it? Michelangelo. They weren't saying it like that when I was there. Well, they must have changed their minds. I don't know. <laughs> Peter went to. He went what? Seven ten years, years ago. Ten years ago. Yeah, so, ten it was years. Fun. Eleven years. It was fun. We had a good time. Anyway, so before we go AWOL again, we've had a lot going on this month. Um, I go to Dallas in a, in a week. Cappy and I are going to Dallas to Motivation, which is a Moda fabric. Um, retreat 
I can't wait. It is always an amazing retreat. So it sounds amazing. Yeah, it it sounds gonna so be, exciting. Yeah, All yeah. the people you get to hang out with. And, and Donnie, our Dawn, um, that you guys know, is going to be part of the retreat. She's actually helping get it going. I mean, nice. she's like part of the organizer. So anyway, okay. Anyway, I don't have many whips, and I, Peter has a whip though. Mm -hmm. I have a couple, but I just didn't have a lot of time to do whips in or cross stitch in Italy. So you want to show us your whip, Peter? Hi. Whips are works in progress. Um, I'm, I heard on a floss tube. I meant to write down some floss tubers I've been listening to, and I forgot. But um, somebody mentioned that we use acronyms a lot, and we don't tell people what it means. So it's, they, I, and I realize we do that because my husband's a car person, and he's always using words I don't know. So. Look at Peter's whip. Have you started on the, is it the bunnies? You got the bunnies done? Yeah, the bunnies, 11 stitches short from being done. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's kind of done. I mean, you know, <laughs> why didn't you do that instead of take a nap at lunch? Oh, uh, because there's nine snowflakes that I don't want to have to deal with. What are with. the snowflakes? Show me the They're snowflakes. They're individual little dots. Like they go around oh, yeah. individually yeah, dotted. That's going to take you five minutes. It's. And then I gotta put a bunny eye. And Wait, did you get the third one? Have you gotten bunny. the third? No, where's the chart? It came in. When? Yesterday. You mean I could have been working Nancy's, on it? Nancy's our inventory person. She's on vacation this week, so I've been doing Nancy's job, uh, which gonna, means I got a promotion. I'm gonna need that chart. Well, it, you have to talk to Pam. It's out there. It's oh. out in the shop. I can go talk to her right now. Oh, I have it in my box. You can probably have this one. What? I'm sure it's in my, not now. Oh. Can I see what the animal is? It's a, I told you, it's a fox. Okay. Oh my gosh, I trust you guys. You can't take fox. Peter with you anywhere. Do you know what the fox said? No, what? I don't want to know. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's do what's <laughs> new. Uh oh, it says, look who it says. Please give Nancy with. With finished with it, Cindy. Okay, so this is the next in Peter's series for Country Cottage, right? No, Little House Needleworks. Yeah. Um, it's the Log Cabin Christmas, and I think there's, is, how many is there? Twelve? Nine. Not, <laughs> I can't get anything right. But this is the next installment, and it's got a little fox. What's it called? Wait, I think that's the bunny. Oh, no, it is the a... fox. I was looking at the chart, and it looked like the same it's trees the fox. are in this see the, one. See the cute little fox at the bottom? So that several of them in the shop are doing this. Oh. Yeah, so. But look what it says. You, do you think there's not any out there then? Why? <laughs> I guess Please I. Please give to Nancy, Nancy. Is she doing it? It sounds with, like she's doing When? With, with, finished with it. I think when finished with it. I think Cindy got in a hurry and then. Oh. Did. Okay, that's one of our what's new. So do you have any other whips? Mm-mm. Okay, I I won't do my whips just yet. I'll do some finishes, and I apologize, Peter, and I can't remember if I talked about these finishes before. I think I've talked about them as whips. This one I know I haven't. Look at that frame, y'all. Okay, this is Folksy Thomas. Teresa Kogut. Teresa, look at Folksy Thomas. I love it. I had it framed at Hobby Lobby in Noblesville. I like that they didn't put the paper on the back. Because yeah. that always gets torn anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so I picked this bright orange frame and I, I did it. not put any glass because oh, there I was going to no be glass. a problem with no Because I put a little, um, oh shoot, what's that called? Not cork board. What's that called? Mat board. Mat board. I put a little teeny tiny mat board around the edges. But she said it, with the size of the frame we couldn't put glass. I said that's okay. That's Makes great. it that much cheaper. But they do, they do a wonderful job over mm -hmm. there. Folksy Thomas was a Patreon back in the day. So I have my Patreon of from Teresa. Teresa has Patreon, different level, different tiers. And this was last year's Patreon. And then it came out in this book called Hello Autumn. And it's got, um, gosh, how many has it got in there? Nine? Let's see. Eight. Eight cross stitch patterns in there. And we have these in the shop. But so Folksy Thomas is in there. And look what I did. I put, I put all my stuff on here. Instead of making Oh, that's cool. I put when I finished it and who finished it and that kind of stuff. So 
it'll go out on this floor now that I've. That's a beautiful. Now that I've. That is a beautiful cross That orange just sets it off. It does. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, oh, I love that one. This is ABC, and I've shown it to you, I think, but I don't remember if I've. But we got the patterns in. So this is um, ABC by Fairy Wool in the Wood. And I finished it on a. Here's what it is. It's an artist touch canvas. Is it right upside down? <laughs> it's just a burlap little board thing, and I got it at Hobby Lobby. And it's got burlap on the outside, so I just stuck it. How creative it, is that? Stuck it to there, and um, Virginia made my bow. But we got the patterns and I guess kind of a kit. Here's what the pattern looks like. And it comes with the fabric, you guys. Mm, that fabric's beautiful. Yeah, it's very pretty. And it, I don't remember what the name of it. Eclipses Colors Linen. So that's what it comes with. And we have three of these at the shop. So this one gets to go out on the floor soon. Okay, and then I don't remember about this one. This is Heart String Samplery. I went to... Um, Farm Girl Gathering last November with Nancy in Amana, Iowa, and Heartstring um, was there. And so this was our um, retreat piece. Cappy just laid an egg. <laughs> so this, and we got this wooden box. Um, it's laser. It's got some laser cut. Um, what do you call that motif? You would like this box. This looks yeah. like you kind of cabin. That is a beautiful cabin box. box. That's a beautiful box. And we box. finished the inside of it while we were there last fall. And then I picked this pattern to go on the top. And it came with everything. It came with the fabric and the pattern and the little doobitties and the box and all that. And I put my name on the bottom. So oh, I know wow. I did it. But this is, so that's another, this one doesn't get to go out because it's not a, it's not a, uh, it's not been released yeah. yet. Yeah. Okay, what's else back here? Oh, I got a teeny tiny finish. Oh, from the... Yep. Yeah. This one was quite entertaining to, to have finished the other day. Is this um, the one that Vin Vir Virginia, Virginia stuffed yeah. and did yeah. the Franken <laughs> stitch? And I said, you're not going to be able to get a lot of very, not very full of uh, uh Yeah, I had to take back. it home and fix it. <laughs> okay, so this is Primrose Cottage. And this is 12 monthly minis. Hey, and it's a beanbag toss. No, it's not. Oh my goodness, corn no hole. corn hole, no. Um, I started with the July pattern, the little, and these take no time at all, but here's. Well, look, Cappy's making faces. <laughs> you, you laid an egg a minute ago, Cappy. What'd you find? Oh, good. A pattern she couldn't find. Oh, good. So this is July, and it's a July mini. And I did, I just put a piece of fabric on it, and then I had Virginia stuff it with walnut shells the other day, but it was quite, <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was it was quite nerve wracking. Because She's like, she, does anybody have a funnel? <laughs> yeah, so it has, it has um, walnut shells, but I put a little on my Franken stitch that I call, for, I just cut a slit in the back, and I had bought these labels from Etsy, no, oh, a long time ago. So I just ironed that on after I got done. I finished filling it when I got home because... How flat was it? It was pretty flat. Virginia didn't have a funnel to put in the hole to put the walnut. And we had them everywhere. We had... We had <laughs> they were spilling off the doors. desk, yep. onto the floor. Yeah, the floor was really slick. Yeah, it You're was. You're like, Virginia, don't get yeah, up. Yeah, don't fall. You'll, you'll fall. You'll fall and break your neck. <laughs> anyway, Virginia is almost 86. And then and I said, she, I said, hey, Virginia, I think somebody brought some cookies in the break room. You better get up and go get them. She's not supposed to have any sugar, but she's addicted. Okay, so I got this the other day. Oh, that's really cool. I know, Did and I love it. you do anything with it? Not yet. Not yet? I so know what you can. Here, I, here is a panel from Fig Tree, and it came in the other day, and I had to have it. These are quilt labels along here, this side. And th these are jar top labels. Like, if you can... You, you just cut this out and then you put them under your jar rim. And I can all the time, so. And I think on my quilt labels, I'm going to put interfacing on them before I cut them out. And then when I cut them out, I can go and iron it because I'm not going to. That's a good idea. I might after I get it ironed on, yeah. but I'm not going to. Some It says on here to turn it under a quarter of an inch and, and hand stitch, blind stitch, and it's like. <laughs> 
If I even get a label on my quilt, I'm lucky. So, but these we've got in the shop. They're so cute. I love them. But wait, 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 whoa, whoa, what? whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Okay, I've seen the wool apple K quilts you do. Mm -hmm. And you're not gonna turn under a quarter inch and stitch. Heck no. Don't you do that on your wool apple <laughs> no. K? No, you don't turn under wool. Oh. Oh. No, it's raw edge. Most uh, most wool's raw edge. I raw don't edge. if you got I don't think I've ever seen a wool applique turned under. Well, I don't know why you would, it'd be really thick. Yeah, I think I was you hallucinating were you were, that one. <laughs> you were <laughs> okay, so I have an old finish from mom. And I look to see. Oh, this is so beautiful. Did this anybody is, write their name on it? No, I need to put mom's name on it, but I don't have any idea what the date is. The nails are rusted. Okay, this is a hundred year old. No, I'm kidding. Um, this is a cruel work that my mom did years and years ago. I would guess in the late 70s, early 80s, and that's a kit. I can't tell you what the name of it is. Mom framed it herself. She always framed all of her stuff herself. So I just had to share. I found that it was in the attic. Oh, so wow. I grabbed it out of the <laughs> attic and thought, I need to put this up. It's too pretty to leave It out. is leave. way too pretty yeah. to put up. So mom was a beautiful seamstress and hand. That thing is sewer. just amazing. Yeah. It's very pretty. The detail's amazing. Yeah. So anyway, so that's that. Now, let's see. I think I have one more thing to show you that doesn't have anything to do with cross stitch. It's Stephanie's quilt that she did. Oh, with the toweling. Okay, so I came in today and Stephanie was showing Deborah this quilt. And it's just a panel. It's all it is is a panel. We have these panels. And it's very beachy. Is that right side up? Yep. So this is the panel. And it's called Tropical Bird Bath Panel. And it's from, and the, the pattern is from Peace Tree called panel magic so this Stephanie did this and look what's on the back that's awesome it's a beach towel I can't believe she got toweling on the back oh my that. gosh oh that towel is beautiful and it's real like um something you could take to the pool I just think that's amazing that she yeah, put and it's amazing. a terry cloth towel it's not cotton fabric it's a terry cloth towel so I had to share yeah. Because I think it's an amazing, it Love matches it. the Love color, it. I mean it just, it, the whole thing. It's, it's kind of beautiful. Cool. Yeah, she did a good job. She always does a good job. She's a very good seamstress. She's fast too. Yeah. Okay, now what are we going to talk about, Peter? We're going to talk about Virginia. Virginia's <laughs> here. Uh-oh. Oh, Virginia's I guess we here. can't talk about Virginia. <laughs> she just walked in the door. <laughs> Virginia's doing a really... Virginia's doing a real pretty. Um, well, don't hide it in Virginia's desk. Hand applique. Here, bring quilt. it up here. We, we bought a Kringle today. If you guys ever have had Kringles, our a local shop sells these Kringles. They're amazing. But Virginia can't have them, and so Cappy's hiding them from her. But she'll oh, find shirt. them anyway. You want to show my shirt? Oh yeah, wait a minute. We, excuse us. We're we're squirreling. Um, come come over to the. Oh, wait, Cappy. Cappy yeah. needs to show her shirt. Cappy's gonna do a fashion show. Okay, wait a minute. Let me can you, can you walk on the catwalk in front of the camera? Meow. <laughs> this is Cappy's <laughs> new shirt she made. <laughs> See, it's very fun. We have this fabric. We have, we have. It's rain. We don't have that fabric. Well, we we did did have this. Fabric. We did have I'm the fabric. I'm gonna get more. This is rain. Wow. That's Moda, isn't it? It is Moda, uh -huh. and it's really cute, and it's yeah, got a cute little hem on it. It's really fun. Isn't that cute? She just made it. It's longer I mean, in the back than it is in the front. It's longer in the back than it is in the front, which is nice. And the sleeves are nice and short for summer. Yeah. You wouldn't Love look it. good in it, though. I'm I not mean, thinking it would fit me. I could rock that. I'm tall, and I mean, it, it's long enough. Okay, so you guys have the double top secret I mean, food. Come here, Virginia. Virginia's, Come here a minute. Virginia's whispering behind you. I, I have it. Oh, if she comes could here, you, she'll see the... It's $15, right? Yeah, but... No, don't pay me for it. You can put that money in my uh, mailbox. I don't think it's that kind of thing. No, it was fifteen dollars for all of it. I know, but okay, take what you want and, and bring peanut. back what you don't use. Goodbye. It's a peanut gallery. It, oh, is, you guys, this, this is, is like your this. circus, <laughs> and these are your monkeys. This is my circus. These are my monkeys. <laughs> we are filming in front of a live studio yeah. audience, folks. <laughs> We're just you like the Dick the Van Dyke show. show. <laughs> it's a variety show. I love show. Lucy. Did you want me to get on the table and tap? No. Oh, okay. He, can you tap like he did? No. I took tap. I can pretend. 
I took tap class did lessons you? when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. That would have been fun. Did yep. you? With Fred did you have the shoes? Uh huh. I still have my shoes. They what? Were fit, I still oh, have them. that's awesome. Yep. Anyway, let's do. Since this is kind of in my way, let's do new stuff real quick. We're gonna go through the new stuff really quick because some of it's kind of was, old. Was yeah. Dick Van Dyke the penguin pretending to yeah. be like a penguin mm -hmm. in Mary Poppins? Yep. Oh, that's just so special. You know, he's still alive. He's like 100 almost, maybe 98, something like that. Wow. I think it's because he stayed in shape because he kept. Yeah. Yeah, he was amazing. Okay, we're going to go real quick. We got a this new. This is the lightning round. Needle minder from um, Primrose Cottage. Had this cute little needle minder. There. Why is it way over there now? I don't know. I got up. <laughs> it's called All American, and she's got some cute patterns that actually go with it. So that's something. It came in yesterday. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Oh no, of course I can't. Oh, here it is. Oh, oh, oh! Primrose Cottage, July 4, 1776 house. Oh, isn't that cute? That's awesome. And then we have Sweet Land of Liberty. Oh, I like that. I like that one. I think that's the one Deborah really liked too. Yeah, I like that one. That's my fave. And then she has a bigger one too. American Sampler. Wait. Okay, what's this one on the back? American Sampler. Oh, no, that's the one I thought this one is. No, that's this one. Okay, that is the one I like. Not pretty. Because I was several at people are doing this. this. I listen. I was beautiful. listening to Floss Tube and several people. So we just got those. Oh yesterday. man. Okay, so this we've already talked about Peter's log cabin. Now we're going to talk about we Summer House Stitch Works. We're on an auto ship from them, and we got three new patterns in yesterday. Um, this is number two of the greatest of these, and this is Hope. It's very pretty. And then we also got these from Summer House. This one is Fragments in Time 2024. Number three. We already have number one and two. And here is number four from Fragments in Time for 2024. What's next? Oh, we got a new Prairie Schooler. There's a Prairie Schoolers are always good. These are Prairie Year rounds all kinds of patterns on there. Look at all those ornaments you can make, Peter. You know what would be really cool is to finish those and stick them in a, those little small cast iron fry pans. I have some of those. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. I got some the other year when after Christmas and they you made a little pan, uh, chocolate chip cookie in them and then yeah. you put a little yeah. cast iron. It's yep. about the same size. A new, uh, or not a new, a reprint from Blackbird. A uh, little bit of spring, and I didn't pay attention to how many's in here. Is it just one? You want me to look? Uno, one pattern. That's pretty. I need to have one of these. Like you need the fox. I need this. Hey, I see that you picked up some Italian while you were there. One journal. Uno. Oh. Is that Spanish? No, I think that's Spanish. Oh no. I think theirs is un. Once. No. No, that's un. eleven. Oh, you're right. Silver Creek's. Un duo I'm sorry, you guys. Tray. Sir, you know, how many people do fast forward through our flat floss tube, do you think? Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Silver Creek samplers. <laughs> this one's cute. Independent Ants Day with ants. I like ants. Not live ants, just. Ants. Do you remember the first time you heard the expression ants in your pants? No. You know, like somebody who can't sit still, they yeah. have ants in their pants? You've got ants oh. in your pants mostly. Oh. Cottage Garden. I probably heard it about kindergarten. Okay. Cottage Garden um, sampler samplings. Peacock pin cushion. That's pretty. What's this one? Oh, that is pretty. Scarlet. Oh, this one everybody's talking about. I don't. I, the Scarlet House, a Stitcher's Alphabet. Have you heard about this one, Peter? Uh uh. Well, we ordered a whole bunch. And. We've already sold three before that even got on the floor because Nancy, Dawn, and Cindy wanted one. Okay, I got to see what this is. Okay, so there's that. Jardin Privé, a to be or not to be. This is a pretty lady. I like that one. That one's very pretty. How's your witch? Don't talk about it. You're farther along than I am. I don't mind. 
here's a Stacy Nash. I just found out Stacy Nash is being distributed by Yarn Tree. I'm so excited. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I'm really we like excited. her powders. Yeah. This is Calling of the Sea, and I like it. It's got a big whale. Oh, this is beautiful. I love the whale. Yeah. She's a very talented love this. designer. Okay, Fabulous House is number six, and it's a tree house. I want to live in this tree house. Peter wants to live in a cabin. I want to live in a tree house. You ever watch that thing where they design the tree houses? Tree I have house. But I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I want to do this one. Oh, oh, I've seen that on FossTube. I've seen that. This is Carriage House Sampling's map of Hawk Run Hall. That thing is impressive. I want to do this one. I like the other ones, but I don't have any desire to do them, but I think I need to do this well, one. Well, the floss list is a lot shorter than the other ones, too. Well, that's pretty long floss, uh, floss list. Not as long as the floss Did you list know that, on look Autumn at all the Hawk Run Hall. Look at the, all the Hawk Run. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. There's nine Hawk Runs. Man. So we have two, three, maybe, so far. Here's another look one. Look at the floss list on the back of that one. Holy moly. You know what I mean now? Okay, this is the Autumn <laughs> Hawk Run Hollow. It's beautiful. Now, I'm going to flip it around and show you guys the floss list. It's a both sides. I was now, it's EMC, it. but I was going to do it one day until I turned it around. And I was now, like, look at oh the my. floss list on this one. It's only on this. <laughs> it's only right there. I mean, that's, you know, considering. If I were Tara Sullivan, I'd be, you know, I'd be all, she'd have it done already. She would have started it and had it done already. I like her. Have you ever listened to her? Uh-uh. Tara, Sully Stitches, I think. Uh-uh. She's fun. She's from South Carolina. Oh, I love And I listen to her accent. I love her accent. That's so much fun. Okay, we got three new little mini oh, bags in. Yay. But this has been a while. So we have three of the mini project bags. We have three colors. I think there's some more colors coming. They just aren't here yet. So. If you call right now, because these are the only ones left, we sold all the others. Deborah can ship one of these to you. These are we're getting we're getting old. But right now we're sold out in the store except for these three right here. Wow, maybe we can take we already, bids. We already sold out of all of them. Look, we're already. Wait, why is there another cabin? <laughs> this is why it's been so long. This is the cabin number two. It is um, the bunnies, and he's already got it finished. So we're gonna not pay attention to that one. Now these are all, I'm going to do these real quick. These are Mill Hill kits and they're all the cats. And it's Laurel Birch's cats. Oh. And so they're very pretty. And they come with the perforated paper and the beads and the needles and the floss. You just need some kind of floss keeper to keep, to separate your floss. Yeah, those with. on actual, um, they're on the perforated paper. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay, nice. here is, I wonder if we have other mark other birds. March's bird. This is from It's So Emma, and it's March's bird, monthly cross stitch series. I wonder if we have the I don't recall the other ones. I don't recall the other ones either. I might have to check on that. Keep that aside. Okay, okay so I'll here's... Keep that one aside. Uh, I'll put a post Here's the Bee in My Bonnet stitch cart. Oops, wrong side. What number is this? Uh, one. T. Set T. Set T. <laughs> <laughs> Set. Uh, uh, T. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, on a side note. No. <laughs> no. Okay, we're live. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> Good old Canon cameras. Just a 30 minute record time. Uh, here, okay, here we go. I like this one. I want to do this one. I wonder where they got their. Aren't those boards? Okay, Springtime Ornaments Cross Stitch from um, It's So Emma. I want to know where they got their boards. Those are cupcake tins or whatever. Oh, they're tins? See, they're crumpled. <laughs> crumpled? Crimp crumpled? Are they crumpled or crumpled? <laughs> crumpled. He's a, a, what are you? A Hoosier. No, I know, but <laughs> what was she said you are today? Oh, I'm a, let me think about that. Gainer. A shenanigator. A shenanigator. Shen no, that one it. it. Yeah, a shenanigator is one who instigates others into shenanigans. Shenanigator. We have two people. Kathy, in the was it a shenanigator? I think she's on the phone. Oh. Well, I thought these were boards, and he says they're crinkulated muffin pans. So, oh. okay. So, um, Susan Weeks from Summerhouse Stitchwork. A marking sampler reproduction. 
Statehood series. I bought some more states. No, no, no. I have this is by Thread Milk, and I've got Missouri, Tennessee, and Florida. And what did you tell me about the states that we currently have? You referred to them as these are the because donut states. Yeah. I didn't know what that was. Do you know what the donut counties are? No. Marion County is the main county. Uh -huh. That's where Indianapolis is. Hamilton, Boone, Hancock, Hendricks, Johnson are the donut counties. I like it. I learned so much working here. <laughs> <laughs> some of it's useless information, but okay. Okay, so we have some new heart and hand, and this is the heartware. I just ordered some of these because I like the clay pots, the little pot things they yes. go in. Yes. We have three of those. I love their clay. Yeah, I, I like those. And then one more. Country Cottage Needleworks Christmas Bird. Oh my gosh, look That's how adorable. pretty that is. I don't know why I haven't seen these. Maybe it's because I was in Italy and I wasn't paying attention. That is so pretty. Okay, you guys, that's new. That's Sorry a lot. to. Yeah. Maybe next time we won't be gone so long. Now, I have some haul. haul. I haven't done my whip show. Haul, y'all. So I went to, I went to uh, Hobby Lobby the other day and went through. They had a big clearance. And so I found I guess this. They did. It's just a wooden thing with the bead and a what dollar ninety nine. It was regular seven ninety nine. And they just put that on there. And I think I might have to redo that because it looks funky, but isn't that cute to That's put a awesome. little round cross stitch on? Yeah, for a buck? Yeah. So I got this and there was a whole bunch of stuff like this at Hobby Lobby. So I got that. And then I got my fiber forbidden fiber company um floss. I mean floss. Oh boy. Linen, Fabric. Fabric. And I'm getting Lugana 28 count is my club this year. So I have Mermaid. Very pretty. And it's a quarter of a yard. Putty. Same thing, Lugana 28 uh, count. Putty. 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 And then I got, I'm also in. Exju Designs. Oh man. I could just sit here and sniff her fabric. That's... Why does it smell so good all the time? I don't know, but her fabrics are beautiful. <gasps> What's that? What'd I you don't find? Know. Did you find a free pattern? I did. <gasps> did you get free floss? <laughs> I'm gonna need you to open your fabric from her. <laughs> <laughs> oh you guys! <laughs> oh, it's so fun. I got a free vintage tulip design from Exju. I got a free pattern. I didn't even open it. I just opened the package and didn't look, and I have a new thread. It's gift thread. It's very goldish, very, um, it's variegated. And then this, I love her fabric. What's Little this Little lamb. Little lamb, so that's April. April. Yeah. Isn't that fun, and I got stuff. <laughs> are, you the, are you the 28 count club? Uh-huh. You know what, though? I've been working on a lot of 14 count Ada. I don't, stop yeah. it. Put that back where it goes. And then I joined this. What? Now wait a minute. I didn't hear about this. Cross Stitch Club from Prim Gatherings. Stitcher's Garden. This is Prim Gatherings. It's their new cross, oh sorry, new Cross Stitch Club. I just got it when I got back. Wow. Look at all that. Did you get all that stuff? I got all this stuff. Oh, so. It comes a pattern. It comes with a pattern. You've been holding out. I really haven't even opened this. I figured I'd just you... wait for you guys. Been, I, I, got I some, didn't even know about this. Well, it. What's oh, that? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it's, twill it's a tape. shoelace. It's a shoelace, <laughs> but it's twill tape with prim gatherings on it. I got this. Oh wait, floss. it's my it's my oh. man bun ribbon. It is. <laughs> I got a piece of wool. wool? I love Did the wool. Did you see that new plaid wool we got in the shop, Lenine? Yes, okay. it's not wool though, is it? In the final? Yes, it is. Oh, it's wool. Yeah. I don't know what the um, wool's for. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. Look what it does. Oh, you put wow. the wool around the outside of the, and you do a little hand embroidery on it. That's why. What? I need to order the box so you can oh, order yeah. this box. Yeah, we need that box ASAP. And I think this pattern, the Stitcher's Garden, I think it's out. But then it, look what it came with. All these little floss drops and the and the ring, and it's got prim gatherings on it, and you can write your doohickey on there. Now you're gonna see her, aren't you? Yep. At the motivation. Yep. Lisa Bonjean will be at motivation. Hi, Lisa. Yep. Hi, Lisa. 
There's a couple of Lisa's there. There's Lisa Alexander. Oh, Lisa Alexander's cool. Yeah, cool she'll be there too. Be. She'll be there too. She's nice. She's They're a great nice. quilter. So we'll have fun. I yeah. see her teaching her grandbabies on Instagram. Yeah, she's funny. Okay, that's my haul. And I could have gotten others, but I don't remember. And here's my little piddly bunch of whips. Man, you got some nice whips. Okay, the have, first so have whip. Have you dialed it down a little bit on the whips? No, I just haven't year? been home. I meant since last year. No. It's I've got more. Remember that one time yeah, that you I were gonna, like, I, I don't know, know how you guys do all these whips. I don't. It, it kind of makes me nervous. You know yeah. how it makes you tense when you have too many whips going? Kind of makes me nervous. Now I'm going to show you this one. It's a free pattern online. The blue flower is the designer and it's called Sweetheart Squirrel and that's all it looks like. <laughs> Can't show you the chart, you know. Yeah. But look how cute he is. It's a little squirrel with a heart. I mean, he's no bigger in a minute, but um, I'm going to put him on an ornament and take him to Florida. Isn't he cute? That is a cute New York minute. Yeah, I could have had it done, but I just haven't thought. I've had a cold this week. I, I could have had mine done. done, but those nine individual snowflakes. Do you want me to do them for you before I go home? Will you? <laughs> Takes five minutes, Peter. It's can just do, straight you, cross stitch. Can you do the eyes, the nose, and the whiskers? Mm, sure. Okay. Okay, so this is a pattern out of Between Friends, a spring sampling. Mm -hmm. It's a collaboration between Hands On Design and Summer House Stitch Works. It's in this book, and it's that it's that piece on the front. And here's what I have done so far. I've I've gotten quite. Oh heck. Tammy. What happened? The board? <laughs> oh, I should have used the board for my piece. Now, you know what Tammy said? What? The, she said we're she, crazy. Well, I was talking to Tammy, and Tammy said that it just sticks to the board. You don't have to clip it. I, it's only if you're showing a pattern. <laughs> it's only if you're showing a pattern you got to clip it. Okay, there's my progress. <laughs> so I'm halfway done. And I don't, I'll probably finish it like the pattern. It's on a piece, it's on a bigger, yeah, I have a bunch of vintage frames at home, so I'll probably put a piece of cloth like it did on there. That's nice. Our friend Tammy. Um, Hi, Tammy. What's her, what's her handle? Tammy Blaylock, and she's Creative Country Girl. Creative Country Girl. She, makes she has a best. website. Oh, she does? Yeah, you can shop her. She does the best uh, uh, project bags. Yeah, she does. And she comes in, she's in here at least once a month. Maybe she's in here at that. least once, if not twice a month. Yeah. And her project bags are awesome. Okay, this is another free pattern by Susan Aki, which she's got great patterns. It's called Little one. Quaker ABC. So you can go on her, her um, website and get this. It does not, it's, it has suggestions for floss, but I'll show it to you real okay. quick. Okay, I can't see it anymore. So I'm getting more done on this. This, this is kind of a fun, easy, it, there's not a lot of floss change. So it's like I can, I don't have, okay, wait a minute. Where am I going? It's this way. Tammy'd be so proud of us using our board. So there's my, what I've got done. And I'm about halfway done with that one. Yes, that's me. That's oh, me. Tammy was so kind, she printed off um, floss tube tracker or agenda or something that you write down, you know, your stuff on your floss tube. And I was like, hey, Lenine, look, 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 look what Tammy printed off for us. We can use it for floss tube. And I was so excited and I put it on her desk. And then what did you say? I can't keep track of the paper, let alone the floss tube. Gosh, you guys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she said she couldn't keep track I, I need to stop doing so much. Okay, this is a long time ago pattern. Country Cottage Needleworks, and it's the March sampler. And the frame came with it when you signed up for the whole year. So it's a teeny tiny copy, but it's a little okay, March the, sampler. Yeah. And that little white gingerbread frame. Yeah, I made it. I've got February, January and February is done. So they come in and out. I swap them out. But here's my little teeny tiny. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's make sure. Oh yeah, it's the house. The little teeny what? tiny house. Why is that so small? Well, yeah. because it's yeah. not. It that's what size the fabric is. Jeez. So that's my little start. I got it started. I you, you oh, here's that, what I took to Italy. You need your four time readers for that one. I know I do. I took this one to Italy. I was wondering if you took anything to Italy. I did. I got to work on it a little bit. Because one day, we walked 42 miles a day. 
Oh my At God. least, I swear. It was awful. Walk, 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 and it, they don't have pavement or concrete necessarily. It's cobblestone. It's cobblestones, and so it's all wonky, and I'm not very coordinated. Ask Brett, he'll tell you. He makes fun of me. So, but we did walk a lot. I should just keep walking since I got a lot of walking done. This is uh, Under the Garden Moon. This is a stitcher's mat, and it has a little cross stitch in the middle of it. Here's what I have finished. Oh, I love the stitchy mat. I'm over halfway done with this too. And this is the f it, it, this is the fabric that that's going that's around nice. the edges of it when I get done to make the stitchy mat. That's what really nice. I love that. Yep. So I switched out the colors a little bit. That. So that, one be a that went to sample? Italy and back. Yes, it will be a shop sample. How many um, provinces did it go through in Italy? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, we went on the high speed train. Oh, you did? That was fun. Because you just get on there and you just sit back and whoop! <laughs> one little, another little whip. This is one of, and that, that's like, this is my third, I think, one I've been doing on. Ada, which I don't stitch on Ada. Do you a lot. like the Ada? I mean, it's okay. I don't mind it. I don't this mind the Ada. Hilltop Cross Stitch Club. This is May. I finished March, and I don't know about April. I can't remember. But it goes on a stand like you see here. It's got this metal stand, and you put it on there. So here's what I have done. Yeah, that's a good. It's a beehive. So that's all my whips. That's a nice hive. It's a nice hive. I had a friend that had bees in his house. In his, outside of his house, you know, in the gutter, like not gutters, but between the drywall and, and the, the walls. walls. And he lives, he lives down off the Geist. They came and got him and put him in a beehive. Okay. Gave him a new home. Nice. Yeah, that was kind of interesting to watch, so. Yeah, when they swarm, I tell you what. So, what else do we need to talk about? Anything? What else do we need to talk about? Um, if you knit, we're doing a, sh like a yarn haul, yarn, shoot, I can't crawl. speak. Yarn crawl, crawl shop hop. I was trying to say two When is things. that? Do you know? I it's don't know. It's July through August. It's 10 days. 26th to August 4th. July 26th through August 3rd at our shop. Not at our shop, though. Fourth's a Sunday, because we're closed on Sunday, so we'll be doing it through August 3rd. But that's going to be amazing. There's over 86 shops in Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, Illinois, Illinois, Cappy, Oh, Michigan, Kentucky, so Ohio, not. Indiana. That's fun. Yeah, and I mean, the cool thing is if you follow them on the gram or on Facebook, um, what's the place called? Heartland Yarn Adventure. They're on Facebook and Instagram. And it's awesome. If, you're, if you guys like yarn, follow them because you'll be able to see all these um, yarn shops and what they carry. It's really cool. I've been looking at it just for a minute at work. $5 passport. And you don't have to visit all 84 shops. It's a $5 passport. They go on sale in June, and you don't have to f uh, go to all 86 shops. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, speaking of yarn, yeah. Ham and Cappy went to H&H, &H, yes. and that's, that's a big yarn um, I think uh, awesome. show yeah. where we get to try out new yarn. And they've bought lots of stuff. They bought lots of stuff. Plug in pictures. Yeah, they bought lots of stuff. Yeah. It was beautiful. And Pam had had a ball. <laughs> she Cappy can get you in trouble pretty fast. She's an antagonator. Yeah, and um, Pam got to meet Lori Holt. She's a nice lady. Mm -hmm. I mean, Pam's a nice lady, but Lori Holt's nice. I wonder which one's nicer. I I, I don't know. I don't know. I would say Pam because I know her better. Pam works for us. Pam works for us. Well, you guys, Pam's pretty I'm, awesome. I'm glad you came to visit today. Um, keep stitching. Do what you love. Do what you like. <laughs> yep. And keep on keeping on. We'll probably be back in a couple of weeks after motivation. So it might be three weeks. But um, 
Let us know if there's anything we can do and give us a call. We have a personal shopper if you want anything that you've seen today. 317-776-4227. Bye. Happy stitching. Bye, y'all. See you later. See you on the flip side. <laughs> what did she say? I don't know. I think she was making fun of us. Probably. She's making fun of me. <laughs> I can't believe I got a treasure and didn't even know it. Yeah, you got an Easter egg.